Right. In this video, we're going to look at how to add a question to a collection uh, so that it can uh, support the content that the students are working through. And then also how to add a test to the course. Um, the tools are very similar, but the approach is just slightly different. So you need to be aware of how they are different. If we're only going to just add a question to a collection, then that's pretty straightforward. In the previous video, we had a look at how to add content. And at the moment, in this particular uh, section, we've got three resources, but now we want to add a question. Now, the questions won't be tracked uh, in the overall classroom later on. We'll show you how to do that. But you've got to keep in mind then that this is not a test as such. This is just a formative assessment, an opportunity where students can actually practice their understanding. So you just simply click on add a new question. It does ask you, though, what type of question would you like to use? Would you like a multiple choice um, or a multiple answer? That's normally where you have those check boxes, and it's a combination of the check boxes, which is the correct answer. Drag and drop so they can order um, a part of a sentence or perhaps in a diagram, identify where something should be. They can highlight text, good old true and false, fill in the blank. Uh, and so on. So you can see there's even a free response, which is more like an essay or paragraph question. We're going to go for a good old multiple choice. Make sure multiple choice is selected and then click add. Right, here we are and the multiple choice tool has opened. I'm going to um, click into the question area and in this case I've already copied the question so I'm just going to paste it in. You go out for a meal with three friends. The restaurant bill is $136.44 Eastern Caribbean dollars. You all decide to add a tip for the waiter for 15% how much do each of you pay? So now we need to come up with some alternatives. Um, and here we can have in as many as we need. Right, so now I want to know what are the various options. So I'll click on Add Answer Choice. It wants to know what is the first option. I'm going to give it 5230. Do we want some more options? Very definitely. Uh, next one I'll make 2047. 2047 and in this case that is the correct answer so I click on the green tick. Uh, C must be a distractor we'll make this one 3923 and we'll have another one another distractor we'll call this one 3411 and um, now we can make sure that we save so scroll down till you see the save button and connected it. So now that should be our first question um, already into the system. So, so now when we return back to our collection, we should see our three resources, in this case they're three videos, but now our fourth item. And this is not a resource, this is a question. And you can see the icon is somewhat different. To create a test, however, um, we want more than just one question. We want actually a bank of questions to act as a test and therefore also to generate some marks and uh, therefore allow us to understand where the class participants are at. Then we don't do it at the collection level. We actually need to go back to the course level, have a look at our particular um, course structure and decide where the test should be. So if I have a look at my consumer arithmetic section, you can see there's the collection that we've been building. And you might say, I want the assessment to come after the collection. Um, and, and therefore, it's at a level at the same as the collection. In this case, we look for the new assessment button. We click on it. It wants to know what the assessment should be. So we could call this um, uh, formative test or perhaps it's a summative test. It doesn't really matter, but it is a test or in this case, Guru calls it an assessment. We click on add. 
and now it wants to know um, what are we trying to achieve in our test um, uh, what is the subject who is the audience what type of depth of knowledge are we going for and now you can click on the add new question and uh, now we have the opportunity to actually add in multiple questions so we'll do this a few times in order to set up the test